Hi everyone, my name is Corian and today we're going to take a look at the 2022 Sabre 36 VHQ. This model is not only great for families but offers a lot of extra versatility with a big storage loft and a middle room. Now let's go take a look. So we'll start things off on the interior of the 36 VHQ. First off you'll see we've got this middle room or bunk room. That sofa comes out into a full size bed. And then you also have an entertainment center in there with some storage. So it works great for extra sleeping, media room. Some people have turned it into a nursery, pet station. And then you've also got this huge loft overhead. Right now it's got a teddy bear bunk mat on it for sleeping. That can be taken off. It's completely finished. There's no exposed raw wood up there. You can use it for storage as well. Then moving along into the kitchen, you got a nice big island with a farm style sink, hand sanitizer station, detachable faucet, Nice solid surface countertop, so if you put a hot pan on there, you're not going to warp it. Scratches will buff out nicely. You've also got the big 12 volt refrigerator. This is a 16 cubic foot Everchill refrigerator. Based on a five hour test, it only drew 3.6 amps per hour, so relatively power efficient for how big that fridge is. Then you've got a nice three burner stove with an oven, lots of storage built into the island, the cabinetry here, a 30 inch residential microwave. Then you also have a big pantry with motion sensor lighting on the interior. So at nighttime, you can see what the snacks you're getting at. Then you've got a nice big TV. That TV is on a swing arm mount. It attaches with a magnet. There's a lot of storage built in behind there for you. Then you've got a nice big fireplace down below. 5,000 BTU heat that pumps out electric heat so you don't have to burn through all your propane. Then at the rear, you've got two nice areas with USB ports, 110 power, set a CPAP there, you can set your tablet, your iPhone, charge them up. There's another sofa that pulls into another full size bed. So you've got three separate zones of sleeping here, plus one extra in the loft. Then we also have the zebra shades. So these do a nice job at controlling the light that comes in here. So right now it's set at about a 50% tent, or I can pull it down a bit, block out 100% of the light, and you can really play with that to let in as much or as little light as needed. Next up, Theater seating, so you have heat, massage, blue LED lighting in that theater seating. They also recline their wall huggers, so you can recline that all the way back even though it's close to the wall. You've got a four person dinette, seat four people there, lots of space. Use it maybe for an extra setup for your laptop, have meals there. Then we'll move things along up front. So off the entry door, you've got a nice full size pantry. Inside here you've got coat hooks, hang up your jackets, there's space at the bottom where you can get your shoes up and out of the way. Super handy, so you can clean up some of that clutter in the doorway. Then there's a little control cluster here. Your LCI-1 control center is here. So this will control your, all your lights, slides, awning, auto leveling, it's all consolidated into one place. The little QR code down below, you can scan that, sync this to your device and use your device to do all the same features. You also have your voltage meter. That's a part of our juice pack system. So there's a 50 watt solar panel that's roof mounted. You have a 30 amp charge controller, so you can expand that solar panel up to 500 watts. And it also comes with a deep cycle battery from the factory. Towards the front near the master bedroom, you have your bathroom. So there's a nice porcelain toilet in there, big shower with a skylight for some extra headroom. There's a seat in the shower. You also have a lot of linen storage, nice big sink, space for a trash can, medicine cabinet. To finish things off up in the master bedroom, one of your ACs is up here. There's another one towards the back. They're both 15,000 BTUs, so 30,000 BTUs of air all together. And they also work in tandem or just one. So if this one's running, you're still gonna get AC in the back and vice versa. You also have a nice big king bed slide up here with windows on each side for cross breeze. There's some storage built in here, TV backer, put, hang up a TV. And then behind me is where you can have a front facing combo unit or a washer. And then on the other side, there's space and a little sticker where your cutout would be for a dryer if you want to go for a side-by-side -side setup. And there's just lots of storage in there as well. So first off, we're in the front storage compartment. You're going to see there's two spaces for batteries. One deep cycle battery is going to come from the Saber factory. Your battery disconnects up here as well as your 30 amp charge controller. Again, that's a part of the juice pack option that comes standard on all Sabres. The 50 watt solar panel up top, expandable to 500 watts. And you also have your spare tire housed up here. Also up front here is the controls for the auto leveling system. You can control it from the exterior or on the inside on the tablet, as well as your smartphone. It's a four point electric auto leveling system that'll fully level the coach and stabilize it. You'll also see the polar bear sticker here. That signifies our polar shield. 
which is a thermofoil wrapped underbelly, front cap, and roof. We also have insulation down in the underbelly, front cap, and roof. The underbelly is heated, forced air heated over the holding tanks. With this current setup, you can get down to about 20 degrees as long as your furnace is continuously cycling. Once you get to that temperature or below, we recommend skirting the underbelly, taking extra precautions so your pipes don't freeze. Next up on the entry door side of the fifth wheel, you'll see we have our front storage compartment. We go nice and wide on our front storage so you can put your lawn chairs, picnic tables in there easily. There's LED light that runs across, lighting up the area at nighttime. You also have cable and 110 in here to put a small TV inside, or there's a hole routed through the floor where you can run down the cables and put a larger TV on the exterior of the fifth wheel. And then moving along, you'll have the outdoor kitchen. So you have a sink here for some water on the exterior, a small fridge. This fridge is not 12 volt like on the interior, so it's 110. You'll have to be plugged into Shoreline to run that one. There's LP Quick Connect down below for a small grill. Then you have your leash latch if you want to tie up dogs, maybe a cat. Then you have your friction hinge door, so it won't slam against the side of the coach. You also have thin shade ready window there, so if you wanna get the thin shade from Lippert, it'll block out that light completely. And then the Moride steps. So these Moride steps come right up and in the coach, and they lock into place. You also have these adjustable foot pegs on here. That'll let the feet slide in and out for different terrains. You have a LED light underneath the steps for a little extra safety getting up and in at nighttime. When this light's on, your awning light is also on, so those tie in together. Next up, down by the tires, we have Goodyear tires on there, green valve stems on there. Those are tire pressure monitoring system. So a quick visual check. Green is 80 PSI, yellow you're getting low, red you're really low. The axles that it's sitting on are 7,000 pound axles, so across the board on the Sabre line you'll see you have really good cargo carrying capacity. Then the slide boxes, as well as the side walls, are all vacuum bonded, two inches thick, so good insulation on them. They're gonna hold up well over time. And you also have the rack and pinion slide system on all our major slides that goes through the frame, supporting all that weight. The only time we don't use the rack and pinion system is on small sofa slides on our front living models. Now at the rear of the coach, you got a couple things here. Two inch hitch receiver that can support 300 pounds of vertical weight. So firewood, small generator, bike rack fits real nice back here. Then up above is a camera that's already pre-installed. That's a Lippert backup camera that ties into the smartphone app. So once you have the LCI One Control app on there, you can get that video feed on your smartphone of what's behind the trailer. To finish things off on the exterior, you've got a 10 gallon quick recovery water heater. So every hour that's gonna replenish 10 gallons of hot water. And then to the left of it, you've got your all-in-one docking station. So you've got an exterior shower head in here if you want to spray off the dogs, maybe a dirty kid. You've got black tank flush, all your cable connections. Everything's consolidated into one place for you. And you can also access your storage from this side as well. That wraps things up with the 36BHQ. If you'd like to know any more info about this model or the other floor plans that we offer, you can visit our website at forestriverinc.com Sabre. Thank you.